Hey guys, this is Mr. EG's Tech here, and today I'm going over my Mac Mini server with the two RAID 0 drives. First, I'll give you a little bit of specs. It's running the quad core Intel i7 with 2 gigahertz per core, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 1333 megahertz, and the Intel HD uh, integrated graphics 3000 with 512 megabytes of memory. And uh, this is the server line, so that means that. Uh, this is kind of like the the beefy Mac Mini, so it has the quad core i7. The only downside would be that Intel HD 3000. So uh, what I ended up doing is I put this uh, computer in RAID 0. Uh, so I put the two drives in it. It comes with two 500 gig, uh, 7200 RPM drives. Um, so I put those in. And I put those in in RAID 0, or actually they came with the Mac Mini, so I put them in RAID 0. And RAID 0 is Stripe Data, so it puts two drives into one um, one kind of configuration. So let's go ahead and open up Disk Utility so you can kind of get a uh, better idea. So right here we can see that we have the main partition main drive that's made up of these two hard drives, and that's called Macintosh HD. And we can see that there's RAID, and it calls it Apple RAID right here. So um, this is one drive, this is two drive. So what it does is it kind of pairs these drives together. They're still in there. There's no hardware difference. You don't have to change any hardware. Um, it just has to be hooked up normally. And then you just kind of uh, built it in the software. You go ahead and put it in RAID. And uh, so it uses both drives in combination. So whenever I write um, a simple fired file to the um, computer, it kind of writes it to both. So it's really cool. It's definitely a speed bump. So I'm going to show you some speed tests, and I'm also going to show you what I've gotten it to be the highest in the speed test. So let's go ahead and put these off to the side, and uh, we'll go ahead and open up the Blackmagic uh, disk speed test. So right there, we got the speed test, and we're going to go ahead and just give it a start. Um, and I've been noticing I've been getting up to 180 write and um, 184 read. So um, usually it's about maxed. Uh, it's kind of like matching uh, 161, 170. It's around the same um, area. So this this speed test right here is um, seeming to be really good. We, we're getting 175, 176, and 174. So th this read and write speed test, um, this is compared to, it can um, kind of compete with some of the lower end solid state drives and uh, it's definitely awesome the speed test that you're getting without even buying a solid state drive so overall the speed bump it's definitely noticeable in common task uh, it's actually pretty fast opening up applications uh, rendering video is definitely much faster but um, the thing that I'm kind of disappointed about is boot times aren't um, as uh, significant of an upgrade compared to a solid state drive so um, these speed tests are pretty good the best I've gotten it is uh, probably right now and this speed test which we have right here 179 write and 184 read so this speed test that we got right here is showing a pretty good um, speed it's 161 uh, write which is excellent and 175 ish um, read so I hope you like this video rate comment and subscribe and let me know down in the description like this video and then tell me what you want to see in the future so maybe more videos on this uh, maybe this verse uh, my macbook pro with a solid state drive or my macbook air with a solid state drive so i'll see you in the next video follow me on twitter and check out iosforlife.com